Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you that how we can connect the Hetzner cloud uh, using our SSH keys. So first of all here we have uh, this dashboard, Hetzner's dashboard and here we have a security tab. Let's click on uh, first of all the security tab and uh, now uh, we are going uh, here uh, add SSH key. So we will generate add a new SSH key uh, to access our uh, VM over the Hetzner. So we can use uh, terminal uh, to create the SSH keys uh, here and just type SSH dot key gen and there will be further arguments will be appeared here you can describe uh, the name of file that you in or what name you uh, you can you you want to uh, use uh, to save this SSH file and that you can recognize it uh, on later stage so okay uh, let's uh, do it in a better way let's do cd dot ssh so now we are in default directory this is a default directory for all our ssh keys why it's required it's required because when we are trying to uh, access uh, any uh, virtual machine from our terminal then uh, the default location is dot ssh folder where we can uh, where the virtual machine or terminal will look for its uh, uh, private key so uh, as an ssh key uh, have two uh, parts the public key and the private key i'm not going to more details about this so first of all let's create the ssh key so here we will type the ssh key gen and it's asking for the name of the key we can say there is a Herzner demo key okay so hit enter leave uh, this is a for security purposes this is the best practices that you can use a passphrase uh, for every time a uh, passphrase is just like a password that when you try to access your uh, virtual machine over cloud it will uh, prompt you for the passphrase for now i am just leaving it empty and again this is empty and now you can see our ssh key is uh, created so uh, let me do clear so let's do ls it will show that we we can see that uh, our Hedzner demo key is created and you can see there is a pub extension dot pub it's mean public version and there is a Hedzner dot domi key there is no extension with this key it's mean that is the private part so we just need to copy the content of this public key and uh, use it uh, for our ssh terminal so let's back uh, move to our uh, ssh key server here add ssh key and you can see uh, here is the ssh key that uh, we should be in open ssh format so let's back to terminal and type cat hedzner demo key okay it will uh, show the content of uh, the, our private key why i am uh, sharing this here because after this demonstration purposes i will delete the vm and this uh, ssh key so okay let's create uh, get the uh, public version of this key so i just typed here cat has a demo key dot uh, pub so here we have the public version of this ssh key just copy the content and here we will paste the, our uh, public key so name of this key we can say heads and demo key okay so let's uh, use this add ssh keys you can see our ssh key is added successfully let's uh, move back to our server part and uh, let's create a server so here we can you can uh, use any default setting that we are going to use ubuntu uh, version of this and we are going to use this uh, uh, a tiny uh, virtual machine because this is will uh, uh, after this demonstration purpose i will delete this machine so here we have bunch of options we, you can use your location pre preferred location and preferred uh, uh, image as well so we are going to uh, sticking with this part and there is no extra volume is um, not required okay so here we have uh, SSH key options here you can see our Hedzner demo key is uh, available we will select this uh, key from here and uh, then we will uh, create this VM machine and you can type any name here demo and whatever name you want to uh, write here let's uh, uh, connect with this and we can hit create and 
uh, by now our virtual machine is uh, created and it's in progress you can see and within a less than a, a minute uh, it's uh, created okay so currently we don't have any firewall uh, rules here so here we have a firewall tab we will create a new firewall i am just taking uh, things simple uh, to uh, to make things simple to that do, don't get confused that's what's going on so where we have a by default rule which is a port 22 you can see port 22 open is required uh, for SSH purposes if this port is not uh, configured over any cloud then we can, cannot access our virtual machine or cloud from our local machine or terminal so this uh, port 22 must be opened uh, in our firewall so let's uh, write the name of this firewall rule Hadzner demo firewall okay so here we have uh, apply to resources tab we can select the resource and we can select the server and in server in this section we have our server which is demo so we will select this server apply to one server create firewall and our firewall is uh, in progress and its fire file successfully applied okay it's time to uh, uh, access our server using ssh keys uh, from uh, our terminal just uh, copy your IP address for Hadzner cloud uh, the uh, what is this this is the username that what username we are going to use to access our virtual machine in case of you are using AWS Amazon EC2 instance then you will uh, you the root will not use Amazon default uh, username is Ubuntu uh, this is Amazon default virtual machine username is Ubuntu so in case of Hedzner, uh, we will use uh, the root as a username and will and try to access our virtual machine. Okay, so let's uh, move back to our terminal. Just uh, copy this command and move, uh, move back to our terminal. Let's clear my screen and we, uh, we will go to home directory and paste this command here. Just hit yes and enter okay it's high right to need complete type i need need to t, uh, type complete like yes so no, now you can see that we are accessing our hazner cloud machine using our root user this terminal uh, this terminal was my local machine terminal you can see my name is displaying here and we was on our local machine and now you can see the color is also changed and now we are successfully connected uh, to our Hasner cloud and now we can execute different commands here let's type a command apt update and you can see that is this is completely fully working thanks for watching this video and please like and subscribe my channel for more informative videos